Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? So we're gonna be doing. <laughs> Why do I talk like? <laughs> you know, this is not my real voice. I have like the Paris Hilton kind of thing. That's so hot. <laughs> so here we go. So this is your the deck that we'll be using is the Ankh. This is our very own, of course, proud, 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 proud mama. Okay, because this is our own deck at Eat, Read, Love. So do check it out. Okay, it's available now in the trilogy. Okay, so the Aquarius, I will be reading you to filth based on, based on Tarot. Okay, and astrology is going to be based on Jyotish and Sidereal placement. Okay, so just be uh, heads up mm -hmm, with, uh, with the astrology that I use. Now, all right, um, my readings are not timeless because timeless is useless for me. It's not doing service anyway. You're just going to keep guessing if it's ever going to happen. It's not. If it's not, then, you know, like it, it will never manifest. So let me tell you when. Okay, so you're not here being led on, waiting and waiting and waiting. Some people wait for a lifetime. Let's begin. First card is a card of resonance. The rest is a future card, which means like you shouldn't even know what is coming towards you. But I can tell you one thing for sure is your card of resonance is six of cups. You know, like, aquas are misunderstood as cold and detached. I don't think so. They're not. Okay. Aquarians are the most caring zodiac. I can say that to anything. <laughs> See, when I go to a Gemini. Geminis are the most caring zodiac. <laughs> See, that's what we do anyway here. The Leos are the most... <laughs> See? No, but aquas for sure, you know. They care for the many. And that's why you get abuse, just like a Cancerian, okay? But on your end, the many is like the public, everybody there, your friends, you know, every, everybody outside the inner circle. You try to help them. This is Six of Cups. You may be part of a charitable institution or you deal with a lot of people that is like charity, okay? Because you're always extending help. Now, okay, the way I see this also, if I were to base it, in the cards, in the tarot, and the astrology part, is that, one, someone is definitely coming back. Okay. Jupiter is in retrograde in Aquarius. So, which means someone that you have unfinished business, when planets are retrograde, the karma is stronger because it's closer to the planet Earth. Which means that this is intense for you until October. Yes, this is weeklies, but if I were to look at the astrology, until October, it's intense between you and your ex-husband or ex-wife. Whatever you want, okay? Me, I don't want nothing, you know. <laughs> I deal with a lot of people, <laughs> and I only see them. How do I fix my marriage? How do I... Mm -mm. Okay. So, here we go. Mm. The Fool. Okay. So, in the coming days, for you, Aqua... Um, you will choose yourself. I feel that because either this is a make it or break it. With Mars in your seventh house and Sun, Mars is a malefic planet, which only means that it is, you know, it is male in its form and there's structure. It gives orders. You know, I know it's a general with the with the, with Mars, but it 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 means what it says. So you will find conviction right now in the partnership that if this person does not really work it out with you with the Six of Cups because they say that they're sorry, then you're going to be good riddance with a full card. You're just going to dispose them. And that's where you they would accuse you of being detached. The Ten of Pentacles, choosing what you're worthy of. Mm-hmm. Any relationship that you get into, you would always have to put a price tag on yourself. That's what I do. And if they cannot afford it, meaning, okay, um, like if they cannot afford to give you loyalty and that's your price, you know, not because it's not about the dollar amount, then, you know, it's not, it's not going to be long term there. You know, it's going to be short time. With a fool in the Ten of Pentacles, you can be jumping into a new relationship mm -hmm, once Mars is outside of Leo. It will be ahead, September 6th, when Mars is outside. And then the sun stays in your seventh house. The sun is giving, though. It destroys also. It's malefic. Which, is, which means partnership, you're going to keep giving and giving and giving, which we already see here. But as the coming days, you will separate and then you will choose your own worth. Mm -hmm. 
because you need to focus on your career anyway. You have K2 in Scorpio, which means your career, society, that's where you you need your attention right now. Mm -hmm. And then your home has been unpredictable, Ten of Pentacles, and it's triggering you also to move, to relocate. Okay. There is a chance for you to date, but it is, uh, it's almost like at the least 25% only for you to date. Two of Wands and the Four of Wands. 50% then. Aspect of Jupiter, 5-9. Okay. Oh yeah, 50% Jupiter is 5-9. So that's uh, Saturn is the 3-10, which is 25%. And then Rahu is 75%. And sat, uh, yeah, Rahu, 75%. Yeah, so 50%. You're considering right now, thinking maybe I can date, maybe I can talk to someone, maybe I can open up to someone. That's the two of ones with the four of ones. But after you separate yourself from the six of cups. So the, the, the return of the Jedi with the six of cups over there, I feel like you're going to choose someone else. Of course, you're going to say, this doesn't resonate because I'm not choosing anyone. Of course, it's a future, darling. It's a future, okay? <laughs> I don't understand when people ask. It, it doesn't make sense. I don't. You won't understand the future, how it's going to manifest. It's not in your ability. Hmm. And your card of resonance, two of swords. So you could still be here right now. Okay. Where you're feeling like, okay, when is the best time to cut someone? When the moon is in Kritika, okay, in Aries, that's when you cut it off. It will never come back. Do not do anything during the Gemini season, or Gem Gemini time, which means if it's Pernervasu, okay. Pernervasu is, I believe, Gemini, yeah, or Cancer. But when the moon is transiting during that time, because it's going to be repetitive, so you can repeat a cycle. So let's just say you give a chance to someone during the moon is in Gemini or Cancer, um, then you're, you know, it keeps repeating. So you would know. I mean, like once you understand where the moon is, because that's where the auspicious, you know, auspicious time. Okay. Seven of cups over here. You're telling this person, I am, I'm not going to be your choice or option. Right. So you were with someone who is a player and not just a player, also a liar. Seven of cups gives you a lot of illusion. Now you're realizing the value, 10 of cups with the 10 of pentacles. With Jupiter giving, you know, coming to you in retrograde in your first house, of course, it gives you wisdom. But it's very intense, though, is what I feel for you. You want the high, the high, the high in a relationship. You know, the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. I want it all, which is very expansive, relationship-wise. Of course, it's going to aspect, you know, right now, Jupiter and Sun are looking at each other. Mm -hmm. But Sun, that's its own home. So the Sun will rule here. Mm. Which means that you will. But Nine of Swords with the Four of Wands, Knight of Swords, when you detach from this person, okay, because they're worried about the separation. Mm -hmm. Someone is worried that you're going to be with someone, Knight of Swords with the Nine of Swords with the Knight of Swords. Someone is worried, thinking, just thinking, that you will wind up with someone else. Because they know how much of a catch and caring you are, how much loving you are, how much loyal you are, then they know how much they're losing. Okay, let me continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. Let's see how further it goes. Have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead of you, Aqua. For personal readings, check the description box if it's available. If it's not, do not believe those people who are messaging you. Those are fake. I'll see you guys again. Bye.